Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos and today we're going to paint one of the vintage copper jello molds. So the first thing I did was spray paint it orange. Then I took it once it was dry and I used a chalk pencil where you could just use a piece of chalk and I drew on his eyes and they're kind of like triangles but I curved each ed edge of the triangle. there you can see those are all done next I did a triangle for his nose but I kind of just rounded it off on all the corners and then I just did a squiggly line with little curly cues at either end for his mouth and then I just did some zigzag lines for his eyebrows so then I took a paint marker and went over the lines of the chalk and I find this is the easiest way to do something on something like this is to do it out in chalk first so that you're not putting paint on it and not being able to get it back off because you spray painted it. So I'm just going to do all of the outlines first. And I'm not going to outline the nose with the black. Now I'm going to fill in the eyes. I have a bunch of these molds that I got at thrift stores and whatnot. I have a few of them hanging on my walls at home in my kitchen. And this one I got the other day for a dollar at a thrift store. And that is the eyes all done. So his face is almost done. So now I'm going to use some yellow paint and a very, I mean white paint, I'm sorry, and a very thin brush. And I'm going to paint his nose like a candy corn. So I'm going to do the white, orange, and then yellow. And I didn't draw the lines. I'm just kind of estimating about how big I want it. And I used a orange that was a little bit darker than the color that I painted the mold with so that it would stand out and you'd be able to see it. And the yellow I'm using is actually uh, antique gold. And you may have to let the nose dry and do another coat on that. So once it was all dry and I got my other coats, I used a pencil and I did a white dot on the each corner of his eyes. I wanted him to kind of look a little whimsical. I'm going to do one dot in each eye and then I'm going to take a thin paintbrush and I'm going to draw a half circle underneath the one dot that I did on each eye. Doesn't he look cute? Then I'm gonna draw a little asterisk in the corner of each of his eyes. And I used a really thin paintbrush to do that and just cross the lines like you would an asterisk. And I think he's turning out so cute. Next, I took a Q-tip and I dipped it in the burgundy paint that I had. And I just added a little of rosiness to each one of his cheeks. And I love the way he turned out. He came out super cute and I'm going to hang him in my kitchen with my other molds. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to sprinkle if you enjoyed this project.